Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, and Tom Griswold. And now, here's Tom. Bob and Tom. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks very much for joining us. Oh, you're not shot. Uh, there's Ace. That's uh, that's Chick. There's Josh. Mr. Pat Godwin is over there. We're going to do a song uh, we uh, debuted yesterday. I also excited. saw Paula song. Very excited about. You're up. Uh, this is Tom speaking. Christy Lee is right next to me at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Christy, we had an unusual story yesterday. About? Some, well, it's something else that's been floating around the internet. The, the internet is full of bad ideas. Oh yes, plenty. Yeah. Uh, this one's uh, this one's really terrible. And once again, it's uh, we have a physician saying, "Please don't do this." <laughs> uh, this uh, story appeared yeah. in the New York Post about um, pleasuring uh, yourself with banana skins. Boys, yeah, the boys out there, uh, leave yourself alone. Yeah, do not use banana peels to masturbate, according to Dr. Diana Gill of the Prescription <gasps> Service Doctor for You. Dr. Gill, <gasps> fish. fish. Very nice. Um, she re- cautions, as reported in the New York Post, that you can develop a rash and sores on the penis, which can be painful and lead to infection at some time. Oh, no. Not only that, but Dr. Gill claims a person with a fruit or latex allergy could be more susceptible to a reaction from a banana skin. How Don't know that? the connection between banana skin and latex, but... There must be some in there somewhere. Must I don't be. Know. Well, latex is made of a banana but this skin. Is, th- th- this is one of those things that has been floating around the internet. That I, and we received some communication suggesting this was some kind of a big thing in prisons. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So, oh. You know, whatever. How about that? So, uh, anyway, the, but this doctor says that this is not... Not a good thing. It's only one doctor's opinion, really. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I'd like to hear a team yeah. of doctors. Uh-huh. Her name is Gill. There's 20 doctors. Yeah, and it's a woman. She doesn't know anything about wieners. Well, women doctors. <laughs> Fine. That's great. That's just really helping. And a lady doctor. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, <laughs> no bananas... No bananas in the bedroom for the boys, anyway. No. Oh, no. Yeah, I see. The yeah. women can... You'd have to freeze them, wouldn't you? If you what? take it out of the peel to get okay. some rigidity, oh, I would think. Yeah. Oh, they have <laughs> this whole process. What? I find very unappealing. Oh boy! Uh, okay, okay, sorry. I'm sorry. Huh? No, yes, we have no erections today. <laughs> I like it when you dance. Uh, <laughs> Pat, <laughs> yes, sir. You got a song about uh, not using uh, banana peels. I'm for, Henry uh, Banana. Uh, uh, <laughs> Self pleasure. It's a hard day's <laughs> banana. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> One slight misstep. <laughs> how many? How many famous banana songs are there? Two or three, right? Yeah, yeah but, they got their uh, ban- come, banana. Mister Tallyman. Tally I've banana. got it. I've got a banana to ride. No, got a banana banana yeah, jumping over the desk. Electrical banana, the yeah, mellow yeah, yellow. Yeah, yeah, mellow yellow. Yeah. What yeah. else? Um, That's it. Oh yes, we have no bananas today. Right. Oh, right. Yes, Just of course. Yeah. Yeah. Griffin, right. Okay. Banana Rama had a oh, hit. Yeah. Had some hits. Sure. Yeah. And Cruise, cruel summer. Of course, Velvet Underground had a banana on their cover. We're talking about songs. Okay, <laughs> let's get to the songs, shall we? <laughs> Am I allowed to do it with an accent? Oh God. Okay. As, as soon yes. as soon as I can, thanks, Josh. As soon as I can't understand the lyrics, I will hit the buzzer. Really? Go ahead. Oh, man. Just ignore the buzzer. Do your thing. Okay, I That's got right. you, Josh. Here we go. <laughs> I masturbate with the banana, <laughs> doing it's the latest trend. <laughs> the masturbating with the banana gives it a rush and it bends. Oh. It turns your fella yellow. <laughs> quite rightly. <laughs> no, twice nightly. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> It turns your fella yellow. Twice nightly. You might get sores or salmonella. Stings. If a banana, <laughs> <laughs> if a banana's your bed fella. <laughs> I like that line. Yeah, all right, it's a good one. Chick, is this the bridge? What's happening? Are we gonna? It's a long up? bridge. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm into I'm it, man. Say, I'm into it. I thought we were supposed to say that's right. I'm rocking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a boy about 18. About 18. <laughs> Never flaccid or limp. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I masturbated wow. with a banana. <laughs> like an oversexed monkey or chimp. If I see bananas in the jello. Twice nightly. <laughs> you just you got your jello. Jello. <laughs> bananas, bananas in the jello. I I'm think going for the how rhyme. Can, how can anyone perform effectively in this climate? You thought, you thought he was saying jealous, right? Jello. Jello. I'm going for a rhyme. What are you rhyming? 
You'll see. Okay. It comes next. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. There's always room for Jella. <laughs> oh, no one's ever going to do it. All right, here we oh, go. Oh, Mr. Cosby. Should we do a Jella shot? With Jella. If I see bananas in the Jello, I get a long fellow. Rhyme rhymed, rhymed, rhymed perfectly. Why did you do fella? Why did you say Jello? You know, you I were, don't know now. You, were, yeah. <laughs> you, were, you could have gone fella or fellow. <laughs> Jello. An idiot. I think. Yeah. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. I think we've done some good work. I here. think so too. Yeah. We gave you constructive notes. Yes, this is a better could song. We, could now. we get to the tail? Hornier than Jefferson at Monticello. Uh, Again, the O. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have a yellow fellow. Uh, That's right. Twice. <laughs> Nike. Very, Very good. Boy, Excellent. We sucked all the fun out of that, didn't yeah, we? we did. I thought you made it funnier. I, and, I, and I'm wondering, because sometimes, <laughs> I'm just wondering if someone heard us do this news story, legitimate news story. Yes. Right. I'm just wondering if someone tried this last night. Of course, of course they did. Yeah. Absolutely. On, I, I tried it. In spite, I, I of, the fact, that, oh. in spite oh. of the fact that we quoted Dr. Gill saying, please don't do this. It's right. Quack. Um, she works for a prescription she, doctor service. Okay, well, I, whatever. I don't know, don't know the doctor. I'm sure she's very competent. I just, sometimes I feel bad. You know, sometimes, you, like for example, sometimes you see a movie and it shows the, how they do this robbery and then someone goes out and does the robbery like in the movie. But yeah. they get caught. Yeah, so mm -hmm. sometimes I wonder if when we do these things and discourage people from doing Maybe. it, because they probably hadn't heard of it yet. Right. I mean, after American Pie, do you think there were a lot of pie uh, oh, activities God, yes. out there? Absolutely. Had some uh, fun I didn't. with pies? I did not. No one. No one's I, ever done I, that. I would never I, treat a pie I, that way. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would not sully a cherry pie. <laughs> was it cherry? Was it no, apple? it was apple. Oh, was it? I'm sure that someone. I wouldn't did. screw in a cherry pie. That's <laughs> disgusting. I'm sure that someone did it. And yeah, yeah. Someone probably burned themselves badly. Probably. In the oh man, and they'd use one of those McDonald's apple pies. Oh. Just oh. Break it in half. And they, they, they those work. those chicken pouch. pot pies. Oh. Oh yeah, that'll burn. Yeah. Yeah, I have a scar on my leg from that. From, from humping from a chicken pot pie. From yeah. No, I. From having. I had a chicken pot pie the, poured in my lap. A, oh. a pour in your lap. Poured. Oh. I was. I had a plate well, in my you lap, say? and I was taking the pot pie, and I flipped it over, and the <laughs> it's like ow. Plate like fell out. Christy, that must have been. You still. You still have a. I bet I you still a have scar a scar. Yeah. To this day. That had to have been so. Hot. How did that happen? I was sitting on the t couch, which I shouldn't have been. You can hear my mother. That's what you get for eating in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. So did you burn your Couldn't pie? Couldn't agree more. The chicken pot pie. <laughs> that's what I was. Is no, it close? It's, the, it's the, close those are the closest your, thing. Yeah, those it's the close to that. Yeah, it's closest right thing to here. molten lava. Yes, yes. The center of a chicken pot it pie. It blew up to about blisters like that. I, I absolutely believe. And the problem it. is you got to wait so long for them to cook. Right. Yeah. And, that you get, you're so and they hungry. smell so great. You're getting really hungry. Yeah. They're delicious. You, you take, take an like, hour. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Jimmy Pardo says about uh, pot pies. Soup with a roof. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And, there's some good and what a roof. Oh. Gotta be careful. I see. Okay. Um, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. There's Ace. That's Chick. Hey. Josh is right over there. Hi. Uh, Christy Lee right Hi. next to me. At the Navy Federal Credit Union News. Yes, desk. sir. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Go Navy. Uh, this is Tom speaking. That's Pat Godwin over there. But right now we have to interrupt the action because... Bow, that's bow, right, ladies and gentlemen. Bow, bow. He's not just a world-class announcer. He is... An information authority, it's Ace Cosby. Well, you know, the Super Bowl's in Florida. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Miami. Home of uh, Disney World. Mm -hmm. That's right. I've learned something. What? The favorite place for Disney characters to go eat. Oh. <laughs> Mickey D's. Sam's. <laughs> 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 I think Tom is laughing at our reaction. Not so much the I hope. I hope. He's laughing at the humor. <laughs> I'm laughing at the audacity. You're delusional. <laughs> to, to, to consider that a joke. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Your perception of reality. Christy Lee is... Uh, yeah, you got to make the best of every situation. I, yeah, I guess. Um, Christy Lee, uh, I, yes, I, I found Griswold. this uh, rather obscure news story and uh, started reading about it and found that there was a lot to it. Uh, but we'll get to it in just a second. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest life! God. I uh, just want to read the headline uh, to our guest, Al Jackson. Chinese Customs intercepts 12 tons of smuggled beaver penises. Wow. Uh, yeah, who wouldn't want to talk to Al and get to that story? <laughs> that was a better intro than Ace's joke. So uh, oh, hey. Sorry, 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 Al. I, just I love Ace. Now, do you know why there... This is, by the way, the largest um, uh, seizure 
of animal parts in the history of China. There was a the huge news conference about this yesterday. Sheesh. Now, can you imagine why someone would have 12 tons of um, beaver penises? Well, are we doing the story now? It, no, I just, I just want to get his opinion. We'll move on. My guess would be that almost like, uh, you know, how people steal uh, elephant tusks. So they think it's like uh, spiritual. I would think that they take the penises and maybe people think it gives them sexual prowess. Yep, yep. exactly. You Is that it? Yep. Like, like yep. rhino horn? Yep. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. The, the story gets really bad. And there's, uh, it's a, I don't know how you change these, uh, uh, call this cultural stuff where these people think all this because they're decimating lots of populations of animals because they think it's going to give them an erection. Can't we just? I don't put, think we have a shortage of beavers. Do we? Don't we have a shortage or of erections? Yeah. Uh, we don't have a shortage of erections. There are a lot of people over there. They they figured it out. They didn't really need too much instruction. Uh, Doesn't Alex, everybody just get one in the morning? Yep. You know, just like just right off the bat. Here, just like we get one one free. That's where the phrase right off the bat comes from, Al. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay. Al Jackson is our guest uh, from the Daily Blast Live. And um, Al has got a, uh, some interesting gigs coming up. You're going to be at the famous Helium Comedy Club coming up in late February. Looking forward to seeing you. Uh, yes, in Indy. And you're, and you're uh, also part of the Daily Blast on the TV. Are you calling today from Denver? I am calling from Denver. This is my la I'm, uh, I'm moving into a house. This is my last uh, broadcast from here. But yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's freezing here. I think it's freezing. Every we need a January holiday because we kind of cram them together at the end of November and then all through December, and then January is just like Game of Thrones weather. And yeah. we need like we need a holiday to break it up. Well, I think they should make the Super Bowl a long holiday weekend. That yeah. would be the Which way to would go. Would you yeah. rather? Would you yeah. rather have the Super Bowl on a Saturday? Or receive Monday off. Receive and that's, Monday that seems off. to be a, a larger off, conversation yeah. this year. I yes. think about, receive Monday off. About potentially moving the Super Bowl to Saturday. There's quite the conversation. You have yeah. no yeah. idea. Moving. You would lose a lot of people because Saturday. a lot of times Super Bowl, there are people there that don't really like sports. And you would lose those people to nightclubs and movies and stuff like that on Saturday and dates and stuff. If Do you don't you care about football. Really? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because uh, you can watch the commercials. If, you, if you're in it for commercials, you can watch those. You can already watch the commercials, I think. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, it's and so like uh, you can see the halftime performance, whatever, you know, on YouTube. So unless you're watching the game, which I don't know, what would you say? Maybe 65 percent of the Super Bowl party is 40, uh, 40. That's a good. Yeah. No, so I, I think you would lose a lot of people. No, yeah. How many people are really like in that room? Like, who would be watching the game? Chicky. I'd watch the Josh game. Would be, on Josh Saturday. Josh. I'm watching it. I'd watch it any, on, no, any, on a Sunday. Any oh, day oh yeah, playing. no, I'll definitely be watching. Yeah. I think I'd be for moving it. But to, to be honest with you, I've never, except for one time, watched a whole Super Game, a Super Bowl game, all the way through because we had to work the next. No, you're day. right. Super game. Super game. <laughs> yes. Super, <laughs> super game. Super <laughs> game. Am I correct? How about super that super game? game. Oh, it was super. Let's, let's do this. Woo! Because we were go 49s. Woo! <laughs> I'm not that stupid. I don't know. <laughs> Isn't the most watched evening of television always Sunday evening in general? Yeah, I would think. Yeah, everyone's home. Right. So therefore, there's nothing to do Sunday. I don't think they would. I think they would lose a day of commerce if they did it on Saturday. So you would be for having Monday off? Yes. Well, there's oh, one. Oh, no, I'd be. I certainly would be for having Monday off. But I'm saying I don't see the NFL moving that game to a Saturday. Hmm. Oh, absolutely yeah. not. And no, also, no. it's kind of like they the NFL owns a day of the week, and they don't want to give that up. You got, like, I went to the Super Bowl, what, two years ago when it was uh, the Eagles versus uh, whoever they play, Patriot. the Patriots. <laughs> and, uh, you, you know, what they say is, like, just for the host city, that Saturday night brings in so much money. Yeah, Because yeah, all true. the celebrities are in town, and they're all partying it up. Yep. I heard in Miami, like, it, it's costing, like, 500 bucks just to reserve tables at dinner, just to eat at dinner, not for the meal, just to reserve it because it's such such a status thing. Uh, so I think it's for the host city hmm. too. That extra day, it's a uh, chick, chick had some money. stats this morning on the amount of the what is it uh, the the ticket tickets uh, in the secondary market right now are costing how much? Uh, Seven thousand dollars a piece. Wow. Oh. The get in price is right around six thousand. Yeah. And then my question is, how long is it going to take you to get in? I, I'm guessing two hours, unless you get there early to get through security, because they it's super tight. Super oh cool. yeah, it's, yeah, it's it, it's really tight. You, I mean, did, it took us like to about forty five, fifty minutes. Yeah, you went into the game, okay? Yeah, it was a great game too. It was an awesome yeah. game. 
Yeah, it was one of the best Super Bowls. So, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I, I, rec- I recommend if you're a fan and your team doesn't make it, just because uh, I don't know. Did you guys hear that StubHub was getting in trouble because they had 30% interest, but they would, like, uh, if you wanted to get Super Bowl tickets, oh. you, they would give them to you, but at 30 that's like loan shark prices. Yeah, it yeah. is. Mm. Yeah, but, you know, I don't know if I, as a Browns fan, like, I know they're never going to go again <laughs> in my lifetime. So it's like, what do you want to do? I don't, I don't know. I mean, if you're a Pats fan, yeah, you're bored with Super Bowls. But for Browns fans, like, I mean, it's like a comet going by. Yeah, like, you, you got to take advantage. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 No, are you, are you, are you going to pick? Uh, when, should I tell you what Chick's pick was, or do you want? To, why don't you go first, Al? I, I want to hear Chicky's pick. I'm gonna go with my gut. I got, you know, I, I one of my co-hosts is an ex-pro football player, and he kind of went against what I said. But I just think that Chiefs offense just looks unstoppable once it gets rolling. It's happened the last two weeks, yeah. uh, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna say they're gonna keep that going because Mahomes can just buy time, and my man. you just can't guard you can't guard uh, yeah. same, <laughs> you can't guard Tariq Hill that long. I uh, uh, I they, totally agree, Al. That's exactly my pick. I take the Chiefs minus two. Yep, I think all so. Right. I think the I think that if, if the Chiefs don't blow them out, it'll be uh, Kansas City by three. I mean. Uh, uh, they, you hmm. can't. The, what do you do? They're offensive weapons, and then you got to worry about Mahomes getting loose. I mean, they, I mean, they've got a good defense. The Forty Nineers, the Forty Nines, have a good defense. <laughs> They're a pretty but, team. But what are you going to do? How they many? Who are you going to? You going to Tyree Kill? You going <laughs> to Kelsey? Yeah, yeah, hard, hard. That, to, come on, there's too many weapons. Yeah, I'm kidding. Too Never, many weapons. Did, so. did your NFL buddy pick? Uh, the 49ers? He, he said, yeah, he said the 49ers D line is just going to get after him, but mm. I think they're going to gas chasing Mahomes. Uh, yeah. They might get him the first couple series, but after a while, and then once that Chiefs offense starts going, like people start, you can see the other team just get deflated. Yep. And they're yeah. just like, oh, we cannot. There's a moment when you can tell the other team's like, we can't stop them. You know, and and it, and it happened when they uh, when they played the Texans, and it happened when they played last week. Now, if you want to get into the game and you're waiting in line, if you're going to the game, yes. the Super Game, yes, what the I, Super Game, the Super Game, uh, forty nine. What I recommend is <laughs> why we don't get sued. You just let's just say we're in line, Christy. We're, you're, you you say something like, I've been, you know, we, we've been standing in line for twenty five minutes. What are you going to say? God, how long is this going to take? I don't know. I'm so tired. I just flew in from Wuhan, China. <laughs> oh, <Jesus>. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? Second, <laughs> you know what? Plague jokes are funny. Oh, I didn't yeah. think they would be, <laughs> but they are. Okay, Al, we just got a couple minutes here to um, get me uh, a little more street, if you will. What have we got word wise? Uh, okay, Tom, this first word kind of uh, kind of goes with, with the statement I was going to make, as you guys were talking about movies earlier, and a blurred in my office told me to go watch Parasite which he says is the movie of the year. Uh, Tom, what's a blurred? Wow. Uh, a blurred. blurred. Um, oh, oh, yeah, I, I remember. I, I, I We've I talked remember. about yes. this. Yeah. yeah, I remember this. Yep. I remember this. Yeah, blurred, yeah. Does this have something to do with um, uh, something that has been pixelated on a television program? No. No, that's mostly Asian porn, but uh, okay. no, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> I think a blurred would like Star Wars. I think a blurred would like uh, oh, I got Star it. Trek. I got it. Star I got Trek. It. I got it. Lord of the Rings. Uh-huh. Uh, we, we did oh, wait a second. I know what you're I remember yep. what yep. this is. Yeah. I hope so. It's a, it's it's a it's a nerd of African American heritage. <laughs> Yeah, there black we nerd. go. Yeah. I love it. Yes, that's yep. a real term. Yes. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, blurred. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Wow. All right, Tom. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go straight from movies. By the way, everybody, I got the screener for Parasite. Parasite is a like when in the movie's over, you're just gonna sit there for two minutes and process what you saw. I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah, I loved it. Parasite. I loved it. Oh my goodness. That's, that's do you think it was a movie of the year? Movie. I don't, but I loved it. I don't, but what you yeah. what do you think it is? I have it. There's still <clears throat> some movies I haven't seen. Um, but. Oh boy, best picture. I think we'll probably go to 1917. Yeah, you too. Yeah. yeah, and I went and saw it in the theater. And I mean, I yeah. Okay, we'll talk. We'll talk off here because sure. I, I I had thoughts. All right, uh, Tom. Um, when I was a young buck in Ohio, growing up in the <laughs> right. mid 90s, uh, there was a fashion oh. look that a lot of uh, young black folks had. Um, and the main proprietor, one of the main companies that made this particular brand of clothing 
was called Skids with a Z. S K I D Z. Right. What kind of clothing was Skids? Are these the pants you wear backwards? <laughs> no, but you're. They, I they, like they, where you're going. Right. You're it's, on it, uh, the. You're on the on ramp. Yeah. yeah. Underwear. They, don't they sound like pre-soiled underwear? Yes, it does sound like pre-soiled <laughs> that, underwear. That's hilarious. They do. <laughs> they absolutely do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> sure. I oh begged, <laughs> begged for Skids when I was in junior high. Is that right? Yes. Begged for, I, yeah. Is this clothing or shoes? Clothing. So it has nothing to do with Keds. And okay. I did get them. You did? Uh, yeah. That's, my, yeah. That's, uh, and super, for a poor super baggy pants, maybe, that fall down your butt that you have to hold up no, with your hand? No, they didn't necessarily have to be okay. baggy. hadn't right. come in yet. They were, Are they trousers? Am I on the right track yes. with trousers? Trousers. Yeah. The trousers family. They're an extended right. family. Right. Slacks. L- Are they the slacks? Slacks. Woodrow Wilson called them trousers. trousers. They're not like, they're not like, ca- uh, like a clam diggers. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, I like those. Listen actually. to the word extended, extended family, Man. extended trousers. Uh, or are these the pants where you? Oh, I know, like the ones that you have when you can go fishing and you can remove the, you can unzip the uh, pants <laughs> from the, the knee down. <laughs> what? No, go oh. up, Tom. Go oh, up. My Lord. Um, you go up so the groin area. Something about skids. Uh, God, I don't know, but there are they are pants. Josh, please tell him. Uh, Al, I'm a little confused because I, the skids that I got and be, and that were popular in my school were were pretty much just looser pants. They were kind of You're, with the drawstring. The draw yeah, string. they had drawstring. Yeah. yeah. Okay, see, I was going to go with either loose pants, and they also had overalls. So I guess yep. Tommy, I'm going to go. I'm going to give you that one because yes, he is exactly right. There was the loose ones, and then the overalls came. But yeah, they they had the drawstring pants. Right. Tool. Yeah. Because I had the drawstring skids, and I would wear them with my Z Cavaricci yes. <laughs> shirt. Yes. And oh. you bought them at <laughs> Merry Go Round, didn't you? Oh, well, my Mary parents must have taken out a loan because <laughs> for a poor kid to be wearing that, I was the only kid at lunch wearing skids, Z Cavaricci, and then whipping out the free lunch program. <laughs> <laughs> wow. yeah. Josh, please tell, do you have a picture of you in that? I, if I do, I'll send it to you. I don't know. Uh, I know. Is, awesome. is this are skids still out there? Yeah. I'm sure retro wise, I'm sure you can buy it on eBay or Amazon. It says. Um, okay, I just found it. They look like Zubas, except the prints are more. Um, inst- they're they're a little more dude. fashionable, right? Yeah, they look cool. Yeah, they look just like Zubas. They were draw Zubas were like drawstring pajama pants, and those were around what in the late eighties. Yeah, they're right. skids. Yeah. New York dot com, Al. You can still they're buy them. Mine were green and purple. They're all, all oh, black. They're black, oh, black and white. Yes. Do they have no, they a Al? Yes, do they, they do they were. have a back pocket? <laughs> I believe so. Cause see, cause I got it. Are you a back pocket wallet guy? Where do you carry your? No, uh, I'm I'm back pocket. I have yeah. a thin wallet. And I keep it in the back. What about you? Yeah, I, I if I I cannot wear anything that doesn't have a back pocket. What about when yeah. you're on a date? Don't you put the girl's hand in one of your back pockets, right? Like, and you yeah, put like your hand in her, her, so her back pocket. That's always we're so romantic. Yeah. Yeah. Tom, it has a back pocket with the Skids logo. Wow, I, I'd wear a pair of these. Look, these I, these look like chef pants, and I always like those. <laughs> <laughs> chef pants look comfortable. Chef they pants do. and chef, chef chefs are the only people who can get away with wearing Crocs too. Yeah. Chef yes. Crocs, that's right. They look comfortable. Chef yeah. pants and Dansko shoes. Yeah, I, have a, <laughs> I, I do have a pair of chef pants. I only wear them you at do? home. Oh, yeah, they're great. I love those. Chef hat? Uh, I have a chef hat also. <laughs> oh, would you wear a chef hat all morning? <laughs> no, in the morning? Please. They are wonderful. Uh, you have one too, George. Uh, Al Jackson. Yes. We, um, <laughs> now dare I say to use what I've learned today in a sentence, I would say, um, <laughs> Uh-oh. I heard from a blurred friend of mine. Oh, boy. Yeah. Is that, was that good, so good so far? Yeah, you're good. Yeah. I heard from my blurred friend, Al, that I'd look a lot hipper if I were um, uh, uh, wearing my skids <laughs> into work. <laughs> they should have come out with a line of shoes called skids. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Can we get Tom some skids? Yeah, and I'm going to order them on him? a pair. Boy, they're proud of their skids. They, <laughs> they've always you. been proud of their Man. product, yeah. They're a hundred. Are bucks. they expensive? Ninety-eight. Are you bucks? serious? Yeah. yeah. Oh, get off your wallet.
<laughs> Go ahead and buy a pair Christy, of Christy, I'll buy myself a pair. I like these uh, lime fruit stripes. Yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. I could wear those. How thick are they? Are they a nice light cotton? No, they're, mine, well, they're, they're a blend. Mine were like there. flannel. Yeah, yeah, mine were like flannel, too. This, yeah. one's, this one's flannel. Yeah, some are flannel. Okay. They're oh, great. Thank you. Thank you, Al. We'll look forward to seeing you soon. And your pick once again, you you are saying... If I'm, I'm going, going Chiefs. Chiefs, baby. Chiefs. Chiefs. Bandwagon. Fifth, every 50 years, all the teams should and win And the Super MVP Bowl. will be... Oh. Oh, well. I'm going to go Tyreek Hill. Oh. oh he's going to get loose. I was hoping you'd say Mahomes so I could say my man. I'll do it. I think the MVP <laughs> will be Patrick Mahomes. My man, 50 grand? I love that from Al. <laughs> Pull up, Tom. <laughs> uh, Al, real quick, are you moving to this new home alone or with a person? I'm moving with a person. Okay, Get you save that up. for next week. Oh, Co copy yeah. that. Copy. All hands on deck. <laughs> <laughs> I got to find out what this is all about. Thanks, Al. You're the best. Oh, See you, Al. Watch the entire show live or on demand with the Bob and Tom VIP All Access Pass. Listen live with the Bob and Tom app and make sure to visit BobandTomStore.com. Tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.